If cities have IQs, you'll be pleased to know Seattle is an absolute genius. In fact, it recently was ranked as the smartest city in North America. But we're not talking purely intelligence here. A smart city is a city that is using technology to improve life in a variety of fronts. And Seattle is making great strides. We collect so much data in this city and it can offer great insight into how our services are utilized by the public and really impact the life of the public in a positive manner. There is an entire network of smart cities across America that began with an initiative right from the White House. Seattle is forward-looking in many ways. It exemplifies what other cities are becoming. A smart city is a city that already has one foot firmly planted in the future. It's well on its way to what life will be like tomorrow. Yes, this sounds a little lofty and a little wonky, but just look around you. Our primary energy source is hydroelectric, a clean, renewable resource. Seattle is a green city, heavy on preserving the local environment and very into controlling its carbon emissions wherever possible. It has one of the highest percentages of electric cars. Its workforce is increasingly technocentric, good, clean, smart companies that are growing in leaps and bounds. And it has a government and community ethos that is committed to livability and sustainability. How can we make life better for every resident? Here in the city of Seattle, we're just at the beginning of this conversation of how we're becoming a smarter city. There's more people coming into the city. There's uh, greater demands on our resources across city departments. And as their provider of technology services, I hear from department directors that they need ways to, to work more efficiently. They need ways to get more use out of existing resources that they have. One of the most exciting recent developments in Seattle is a partnership between the City of Seattle and the University of Washington in developing smart city initiatives. To help cheerlead for some of the great research that's going on, uh, to help draw together opportunities, to really lift Seattle up as, as a, a first-class city working in the space of smart cities and urban science. Over the last summer, the UW took on a handful of projects focusing on city issues, and it was quite a handful. What was amazing to me, and I think it shows the interest of people in this area, we got 144 applications for 16 slots. Like, that to me just says there's this, this whole community of people who may not, I mean, many of them weren't social scientists, but they were interested in making a difference. One project analyzes homelessness, a perennial Seattle issue. Here the translation, it felt like the translation could be quite immediate. Now I've actually expanded, so the, the successful exits, they, you can break them down by uh, actually different kinds of successful exits. It turns out that the path you take through the system from homelessness into housing has an enormous influence on the outcome. What we want to do is make more and more data available to citizens and policymakers in ways that they can use it and in ways that demand actions. We think it's very important to sit kind of shoulder to shoulder, we often say, with somebody from the domain and a data science and to bring those two together and have there be a lot of back and forth. Elevation, especially downtown, is a real problem in this city. If you have a yep. manual wheelchair, it's really hard to get up there. In the spring of 2015, the city hosted a hackathon, a weekend that brought volunteer techies and local experts together to tackle problems on transportation. Accessible. The winning team, Accessible, now is part of the Seattle UW partnership. For example, in Google Maps, there's no question regarding your ability to negotiate sidewalks. The key concept behind this project is a development of an Access Seattle map. Much of Seattle has two directions, up and down. For those who are mobility challenged, your physical world is limited. This new app shows Seattle through the eyes of someone in a wheelchair or with impaired ability to walk. Kiana Parker works at Seattle University and interfaces with students with disabilities. Is this idea of indicating construction um, because there's a lot of construction in Seattle because yeah. it's developing so quickly. She has been a consultant on the project and shares work done to date for feedback. <laughs> I've only been in this chair for two years now and uh, like I used to live in Alaska and I have to drive everywhere I go pretty much and like that means I can just get off where I need to go and it's relatively you know flat in most places but coming to Seattle in the middle of the city I don't really go many places because the hills are so intense. 
I didn't do much last year where I was like going out about and figuring out what bus routes worked and like what places to get off that are flat. I would use this constantly. Access Seattle is close to being fully launched. That's less than one year from being an idea thrown out at a round table discussion. And that is one smart idea. And there's more to follow. The City of Seattle and the UW Partnership is just heating up with new projects in discussion. And that may be the smartest thing that's happened in Seattle in quite a while. There's you know, no one in the room that's not interested in hearing about the impact that you can have in the city in which they, they live. And you know, these are kinds of you know, eye-opening kinds of questions that, that are, would not have been possible without the availability of data. And as we start to work with the University of Washington, what I'm really looking forward to is thinking about how we can bridge that gap between the needs that have been identified in the city and working with researchers who, who understand data and understand um, the different types of solutions they can bring to bear and help build those partnerships between departments uh, to get their problems solved. Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.